Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Donovan is, uh, I don't know, he's off doing something important probably. Welcome back to our home renovation remodel thingamabob thingamabobber. Today we are getting started on something pretty exciting. We got sheetrock to get hung up on the walls and uh, start transforming the space into something a little less like a construction zone. So we have sheets of 5 eighths to go up on the ceiling. And we have sheets of half inch to go up on the walls. About uh, two thirds of this is going in here into the sunroom kitchen area. And the remaining third is going to go down the basement into the office space. Now up in here, you remember most of this is going to be trim. So a lot of this is not going to be the final surface that you're going to see. It'll just be essentially on the wall as uh, you know, padding it all out, getting it all nice and lined up. So we're going to start getting these sheets into the house and start getting them hung up. My friend Eric is stopping by for a few hours today to give us a hand and Donovan has Lori here helping us today as well. So it should go pretty quickly and be, uh, it'll probably be a little hectic. <laughs> Put the screw in. Good man, put a screw in. We did it. One done. Done. Okay, first row is up. I'm gonna start on the second row. We're gonna start on that end with a full piece and work back this way. It's looking a lot different already. The ceiling in the kitchen is all up. Moving on to the breakfast nook. Goodbye, ceiling Joyce. These are the other cans, aren't they? Yeah, they got the lip. on you, did you say anything important? Because I certainly won't be today. I'm not saying nothing important. Yeah. It's not that, uh, there, there's a, it's right, 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 right there. I found the edge. And then I got another one there too. 
Yep. You can get that probably the end. Can you get one just like right there? And then we can get this out of here. Okay. Good? Yep, that is good. I can get it cut out from there. That's the piece. I got this one. Yep. And then I'll put one over here. I got a 64 and a half inch piece. Yeah, let's uh, just grab a 59. Okay. That should go in there. Check it out, we got the whole kitchen area ceiling sheets are up. The breakfast nook has a ceiling. Pantry has a ceiling. The sunroom is just missing these two pieces out here, which we're waiting on the uh, parapet cap uh, to make sure it's fully sealed before we put those sheets up. But now we're shifting down to a half inch and we're gonna do some wall stuff. Going to the wall. What, uh, what wall are we doing first? All, all of them. Front. Oh, all of, all them. of them. All of them. Even the. Even the walls that don't have walls. <laughs> They're trim. They go on everything. Corner protectors. There's your. There's more packing thank, thank material you. for your. Thank you. My fledgling business. Your fledgling business. <laughs> you're, you're neglecting. <laughs> the business I've neglected for the last year. Yeah. I have so much. <laughs> That's the one. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you think? It's got a lid. It's got a lid. Is that the official building term? The room lid? <laughs> it, it actually is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> God. I hate when you tell me these things. You're like, you yeah, that's the word. I mean, that was a cap. This is a lid. It caps. And this lid, and that lids it. This is the lid. Of the <laughs> wait, wait, is the underside of the cap the lid? Yes. Yeah. yeah I'm getting it. Because you're on the top. Yeah. Oh, huh, 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 huh. <laughs> but for real, which, what are we doing first? Are we going all the way to the front and working uh, back out again, or what do we want to do? Yeah, we'll start the back. That's the front. Uh, That's the front there. Oh, back. That's back, back there in the front. Back there in the front, in the front and the back. So, what about these openings? Are we just going? We're gonna, we're gonna throw some of the big sheets up first, and then we're just kind of just we're gonna cut. You want? You gonna like here? This is gonna be a lot of, if we can do scrap. Right. We'll just do it on it. Yeah, because this this wall gets covered by cabinets anyway. And doors. Yeah. And when we get to the taping and mudding, there's not gonna be 
anything below the ceiling out here. Yeah. The only thing, yeah. So in, in here, the only thing that's getting taped and mudded and finessed looking nice is the ceiling. And then the backsplash. We'll and get some. we'll do a kind of a skim to get the, the seams behind the, uh, where the tile is going to be for the backsplash. Nice and flush, but otherwise, you know, none of the inside corners in here are getting taped or mudded. So it's, that's going to be quick because it's all getting covered with crown molding and that band board and everything all the way through here. I had my dust belt doing the eight foot sheets. It's going longer and it's getting a bunch, but yeah, the eight foots are, I've done 12s. This is better. Yeah. I mean, if we had, if we had big rooms, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, if we had big, long expanses, but we don't, I mean, like, it's a great room. Yeah, that, that would have been, that would have been a lot of seams yeah. to do all that. But in here, it would have said one, two, three cross seams in this field. That's not that much. No. For how much easier it was to manipulate those? In, in and out of the building and what, yeah, it's, okay. and, and yeah. Sometimes you're smart. I, I doubt, I doubt you at first, and then your brilliance comes through. Uh, <laughs> there are just a few obstacles on a few of these walls here. So we have the electrical for the under the cabinet power and uh, lights. We got the, the hood up there, which I mean, a lot of stuff gets covered up, so it doesn't need to be super pretty. We of course, got the, uh, the plumbing and electrical under the sink. This is for the, uh, the refrigerator wall, which should be out here. So we got a few things to kind of work around over here, but we're gonna do this first, We're big sheet. Do, I, I, just, I just want to start burning up sheets so we don't have to move. It's not flammable. Yep. <laughs> Why do you even talk to me? I'm just here to make a mock review, that's all. People really like the uh, the testing of your deck structure too, by the way. There, there, there's some weight here. It was about 3,000 pounds. Is that what you figured out? Please? Yeah, because it was like 2,700 pounds of sheet rock and then a pallet with all of the mud okay. on it too is about Pretty close to 3,000. Plus, you know, the weight of this, the, the, the forks. forks. Full sheet, ready to go. Let's go. That piece is ready to go. I cut the bottom off and it should go into the corner and sit on top of our block. And then I need, then I'll have to get the next piece. There. Yep. Ready, good. Except somebody cut it too short, but a good thing we got trim. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hello, son. Do it right here. Can I push it? Yeah, just push in, pull the trigger and push. Yep. All right, let me get, I gotta get this. Let me get this outlet. Something's wrong here. Something's wrong. Again. Good enough. Got it.
We can fix that. Actually, you gotta go all the way across. Oh, that would be bad. <laughs> Call Matt's phone. The wall's ringing. The wall's ringing. Phone ringing music. Right around this way. You're gonna go to that corner. Dark in here. Wow. This is like a little room, huh? Just about. Just there, and then I gotta get this. It's a red one, though. There's nothing green on here. Can't take you nowhere. All right, good morning everyone. It's just Donovan and me today. We just finished installing the last few pieces of the ceiling and we're gonna start working on piece milling the rest of the wall stuff from here forward. So these are the strips that are gonna go above the windows. Oh, it's, it's gonna look like the band for a second. Right? Are, are you making a box? Making a box. <laughs> You mean we could have just done that outside for the post? Yeah. That would have been so much easier than trying to shim a twisted post out. <laughs> so uh, a lot of piece milling stuff here this morning, and this is gonna look pretty different pretty quickly here, especially this wall. When this old window gets covered up, and this becomes all a single thing and you can't see into the great room anymore. What happened with this one? This might pop cut <laughs> from this. Uh -huh.
So in areas we don't have studs or blocking, we're using these drywall clips. We just grab onto the edge of the drywall and give you a place to actually secure it to whatever frame you have nearby. So in this case, we're butting up into here where there's nothing back here. So this will allow us to screw it into this stud. That's a different way to do it. Different way. Is it the right way? Someone's someone's right way. Somebody's right way. Or the wrong right. way. Someone's, someone's right way. Very wrong way. I'm sure someone's gonna say we're doing it wrong. I think we've said that before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're gonna tell us anyway. It doesn't take much to give it a little, like a lot more finished appearance. <laughs> so we are uh, we're on to the pantry now so this is gonna change quite a bit here in the next few minutes so we'll, we'll lose access to the bump out until we cut the whole kitchen wall out that's gonna get all covered up Floppy door. So a lot of people were asking as we were framing what this was going to be. So this was a concept that we were kind of playing with, having a window uh, in the pantry. So the idea is, if you're in this pantry, it just feels like a really—it's a box, it's a closet doesn't really feel that open. So by having a window here, it allows some light into the pantry, natural light. And if you leave the door to the pantry open as well, it does provide a view out the windows through the, uh, the sunroom. So we're kind of going back and forth on this. I have been given the, uh, the, the final say on if we're gonna do it or not. And I'm, kinda, I'm, I'm thinking yes. So we're gonna cut it out, see how it feels. I don't like it right now. But maybe I'll hate even more.
Where the hell are you going? My bit's coming out. Oh, that was... <laughs> My bits in here. And I was like, why is it just dancing all over? Like, <laughs> well, the guy's going to get a little bit off. We come back, and he came back, and he went right back out in the field again. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so is that toolless right. bit this is thing not good? Yeah, it's supposed to be a tool-free collet, and it's just not. It's going to turn into a tooled collet pretty quickly. <laughs> not mine. Yes, I, got it. I, I mean, it's red. I, I, I know it's red. red. I don't know if I can use the red tool. This is the right move. I like this a lot. So there's a few different concepts we can do here, of course. So we can leave it open 100% like that and just have an opening. We could have an actual piece of glass there. We could have a frosted glass, yeah. so no view. But you get light. But you get light or one-way yeah. mirror. Because the only kind of downside to this is that people can see in your pantry. I don't know if I really care about that because this is all closed cupboard space. And this is a countertop, countertop with here. sliding doors. So it's not like there shouldn't be a whole lot of like, oh no, but the pantry's yeah, a mess. A stuff, oh, I, mean, I think that the organization system lends itself well to not being a disaster. And like all of your appliances are all in there. Right. Yeah. So the only, there's no really countertop things are going to, shouldn't, well, I don't know. Probably not a whole lot of surface that pile on. Yes, sorry, the, the crap pile. <laughs> the pile of stuff on the, stuff on the countertop here. Uh, we got the appliance garage over there, so we shouldn't. Maybe there'll be a. I don't know what, you, what we even put in here on the counter and leave it out. But anyway, I'm liking this window concept. We're going to pursue this one further. And you know, you can always close up and put your rock across it. That is true. You can always cover right back up again. We got a full depth counter in here. Yeah, because there. Counters coming out. Counters coming out here. Yeah. This is. I think these are 18s. Mm -hmm. So these will come out. I mean, we get counters kind of there. Yep. So it, it, not a big space here. I mean, there's a lot of storage. But there's not a lot of space, like free, free looking space. Yeah. Yeah. So that is pretty much it for the sheetrock up here. It's really looking like some really nicely defined spaces now. At the breakfast nook area, here's the pantry. It's looking nice and clean and bright. Kitchen. And sunroom. Got a few little pieces here and there still to do, but it's actually looking like a real room now, which is uh, kind of weird. So I think next we're gonna hop downstairs in the basement and do the office. So down here, we're gonna start on this corner with the ceiling again. We have our uh, bubble wrap insulation stuff that directs our in-floor radiant heat up into the sunroom above. And then the ceiling's gonna be exactly the same as upstairs. But we do have the ICF foundation here. And I think what's really nice about these is all these vertical uh, I don't know what call it, embossments, I guess. Those are all places where you can attach to. So back in there is that thick plastic. So we can attach our sheetrock directly to that. This wall is already insulated and we don't need to do any kind of structural stuff in here or do any framing on here to attach our sheetrock to. It's all ready to go. We have the wood wall that furs out from the block that we did many episodes ago. So that's gonna support the drywall on this side. And on this side, where this lovely man is, we got steel studs. So we're, we're attaching all kinds of stuff down here.
I'm just gonna check on somebody here. <laughs> nice trip, see you next fall. So one of the questions we got a lot about the ICF foundation was running electrical in here. So you can see how the electricians put this in here. All I have to do is come through and make a cut and shove the wire in there and they can just cut their box out and attach it to the concrete behind it. And it's actually pretty seamless and simple. Over here we just did this one for my uh, ethernet line. So same exact thing. You just cut a slot in the insulation, you can shove your wire in there and then you can cut out a hole for your box. So there's the concrete back in there and it actually goes on there pretty well. If you, you can do this with a sawzall, you can do it with a chainsaw, or you can do it with a hot knife or a hot foam melter, whatever you want to call that thing. I like the chainsaw. I, it would make a really nice kerf because it's like quarter so, inch so kerf. Well, it's, it's foam. And concrete. You don't need a sharp chain to run through foam. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Well, anyway, just wanted to show that. We got a few uh, receptacles in here that they ran. So. I can go there. It does. That's where it's going. Look at that. It's like you planned that. <laughs> Moving right along here through the hallway. That's all kind of hung, and now we're just finishing up a few pieces here in the closet. Almost, almost there with the hanging down here. Getting there. We're getting there. Watch the man cut sheetrock. Watch the man put a screw in the wall. <laughs> That's been me. Huh? You haven't put many screws in this time. Yeah. <laughs> you think? I know. That's a different kind. No, a, oh. third, a third kind of steel. <laughs> that was going to be tough to get into. Uh huh. I got in there though. This is. And weird. I got a wood one there. Oh, that's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. One kind yeah, of steel. You got three choices on that one. <laughs> the only choices. They all got to get them. <laughs> Plaza's done, the hallway's done. The last little bit is the other hallway out here. So this is where the bottom of the stairs used to be. Right here, so it ended here. 
And uh, this is this is the section that you went a little crazy with. What are you, you doing with my that? trim? Do you want that trim? Just yeah, yeah. That sounds like an easier fix than making new trim for there right now. Well, this is viable trim, but yeah. I will put it back up. Okay. So we have a little patch job to do here where the garage door is, and that should be about it for down here at least. Hey, remember we said no more demo? We're done with demo? You lied to my face. I lied directly, like, <laughs> at your, like, right there. Straight in there. the last one i think so okay there is the completed hanging of the drywall down here in the basement space this is the new office area looks a lot different than it did <laughs> just a couple of days ago and it is actually feeling like a real room now and it was just a hole in the ground before is that what it's the last thing on the Drywall agenda is going to be catching these holes here in the great room. So we have the hole here where we inserted the beam that carries the front addition or the front house part of the addition. We have this opening here, which used to be the entryway into the great room. We have some patching here around the new entryway into the great room. There's the pocket for the beam on this side. We have the old window opening here, which I got filled in. And then we have a little patching here around the two windows that we also enlarged. So a little bit of uh, piecemealing work in here to get those covered up and prepped for mud and stuff. Oh, right on cue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as, if you can't, as if you're like, I wonder who he's talking to. <laughs> I hear him saying something. Who's in there with him? One thing I learned from hanging drywall this time, this is the only way to go. <laughs> I, uh, all the hanging I've ever done has been screw by screw, one by one, either with this regular impact or with one of those, what those called, the, the adapter things that, that cam out that you put in a normal drill. Dimplers, yep. with a dimpler, and then with a drywall gun, but one by one, you put the screw on the gun and then put it in. If you gotta hang more than like one or two sheets of drywall, collated screws in a gun. <laughs> that's, that's my takeaway from this experience. So next time we're gonna be doing some taping and mudding. Well, you have a nickname? Are you the, let's call you the, should we call you the mud master? The what? The mud master. <laughs> No, we're not going there. <laughs> oh man, so that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. We greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about uh, whatever this is, please feel free to leave us a comment. As always, we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking and mud and stuff. Feel free to walk into the light at any moment. <laughs> <laughs>